back to the channel. I know I am a bit late with this, but a little while ago, I saw a bunch of videos about workspaces. So today is a short video on my work area, where the model magic happens. As you can see it's a small area and I don't have a big stash. All of my spare parts are in this stack of drawers. Each part is tagged, bagged, and separated into its appropriate drawer. Each drawer is a different section, tires and wheels, glass, interior, suspension, body, and engine. In each drawer, things are separated even farther into larger bags. This makes finding parts an easier and quicker task. My stash is pretty small, but I try not to let it get below this by replacing every kit I build. Once or twice a year I get to go to a model swap meet which helps me out a lot. The wicker basket in front of my stash is filled with extra decals that have been bagged and sorted. You may notice I have OCD with some things. My paint booth is an Amazon purchase with twin fans and built-in light. It was about $100 and it vents through the floor and then outside. I have a small mess of thinners and cleaners. There never seems to be a good place for these. Above them are my baseball cards and my favorite RC boat, and yes a crossbow, that I recently bought from a girlfriend who hunts. Towards my desk, first you see my Chromebook where I watch everyone's videos, while working on my models. It sits on top of a drawer system that holds many of my tools and supplies. I really need to buy more styrene. Up onto my desk, we find modular units by Bucasso. Made by modelers for modelers. They hold many of my most used tools, paints, and even parts. First you see my brushes and paint. The center section holds, paints on the bottom, tweezers, plug wire, knives, files, pin vise, and some bare metal foil tools. The top of the last section holds glues, dull coat, clear coat, panel liners, etc. The bottom holds parts trees from my current project. To the side I have a stack of storage bins and my turntable. As well as an extra side table just to catch overflow while I am working. That's pretty much it, I am sorry I didn't go through my tools and materials closer. If you're interested in a closer look video, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and remember, until next time, keep your blades sharp and your fingers clear. Edited and produced by Carrie Ann Packard.